Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Serana. Here it is. Ancestor Glade. Thank you for allowing me time to freshen up and sell off some of my things. So I'm much lighter. And I'm ready to see what is inside. Okay, it's just a dead wolf. Here we are. All right, let's go. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are going to have some words when we get back. And why are you telling me this? Better. This place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. All right, I think we need to find the draw knife. And then we need to start scraping the bark off the canticle trees. I hope you were paying attention. Oh, look. How majestically the knife has been placed. Well, we got the knife. Yes. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. This looks like one of them now. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. <laughs> we'll soon find out now, won't we? All right, let's look for some more moths. And tree bark. Oh, I'm wait. I'm taking a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. Yes, I'm seeing it too. Just all of a sudden, out of the blue. So, I don't need to scrape anything here. Just walk around now and the moths will be attracted to me. Hope I'm walking in the right direction. Oh, I've got another moth swarm. And another. Look at this. And another. An elven scoped bow someone just left here. Is this another swarm over here? Another one! Look! Look at the sphere! Look out, Serana. Yet another! And we have a... Grand Soul Gym along the way. Are there more? The sphere, is, the sphere is so... powerful, shall we say, that I can barely see through it. Alright. 
collected all the moths. Alright, there's a column of light that I must enter. Alright, the column of light looks like it's below us. Now, how can we get down without injury? It's so hard for me to see because the sphere is so, so bright. Can you, can you tell any difference between the sphere and the column of light? It all looks the same. So I think it's here that I need to start reading the scrolls. You might want to stand back. There's no telling what's going to happen. Alright, so I don't have a clear answer on which one to read first. So we'll just start in the order that I have them. Blood. Let's go. some sort. How is this even possible? Serana, are you seeing this? Now what's happening? It's gone. All right. Well, whatever it is, is done. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. <laughs> Funny. Anyhow. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. Yes. You went as white as the snow. Yes, I'm fine. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scrolls gave me the exact location. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. All right. Well, I'm just... I'm grateful that I can see and... I'm what, ready if you what are. a pleasant sight at that. All right, how do we get up? Wait, I'm sensing enemies. You may not want to be around for this. I'm going to call a master spell. Here they come. No! What are these? Dawn Guard? Now. Storm of Vengeance. I'll use Ruin and Welling Blood. Who's left? Is this yours? I think we've destroyed them. All. Praise Stendar. These powerful spells that I've been equipped with. All right, vampires. It's my duty to tell you to walk always in the light. 
or we will drag you to it. Now, this is a vampire thrall. Let me conscript any monies that they may have. Anything that can be used in the fight against them. And that poor zombie that you've created sounds like he's suffering. Okay, come on. We can get out of here now. Looks like there's no one else here that would attempt to stop us. safely out. You know, you seem to be developing an affinity for my light powers. Look how closely you're standing in my aura. <laughs> it's all right. Maybe you are starting to rub off on me. Okay, let me look at my notes and see what's next. The vision provided by the Elder Scrolls seems to indicate that Oriel's bow may be located in a place called Darkfall Cave. I should proceed there as soon as I am prepared if I wish to recover the bow and stop Harkon from completing the tyranny of the sun. All right. Before we go, let me pray and meditate. Mighty Stendar, grant me your strength and your wisdom. All right. It's time we do something about this health. I didn't realize it was so low. Okay, now let's see. Where are we with our restoration? All right, so this Apotheosis power, once a day, casts Warrior's Flame on all nearby for 20 seconds. I don't know why I would want that. I think we have gotten everything we want out of Restoration. Okay, so... What are these power echoes? I'm not, I'm not even using Spell Scribe. Alright, let's go ahead, let's see. Put your heart and soul into the next item you enchant. Placing up to three enchantments. Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll wait till I'm actually at the enchanting station because I don't want to waste that ability. It's Heart of the Sun. Use an unequipped staff. No. All right. I think we've got everything here then. In enchanting. Smithing. Okay, I can create both Daedric and Dragonbone items. Can Do we have Dragonbone? Well, we do now. So I can help craft Dragonbone. Heart of Creation, pour your Dragonborn blood into the fire at one forge. Forging an item in this forge empowers you, increasing attack damage and critical strike damage by 15% and reducing attack damage taken by 15% for 1,800 seconds. Hmm. We 
we'll, we'll take it. Fuel the Inferno. When activating an advanced grindstone or advanced workbench, you may choose to sacrifice a Dragon Soul to improve items by a, f by a further one tier during that session. I'll take that too. This when you draw a weapon, it's automatically sharpened. Hmm. Fifty percent chance to retain any materials you spend at an advanced grindstone. We'll just go ahead and finish this off. All right, now heavy armor. Immortal. If wearing all heavy armor takes 75% less damage from attacks below 15% health or 20% health, I'll take it. Bedrock. If wearing all heavy armor, you have a 20% chance to brace for impact when attacked by an enemy. I've looked at that many times. Lead the Tempest. Sprinting in combat increases the armor of allied people. We'll come back to that. Ah, and here. Finally, take no fall damage if wearing all heavy armor. Alright, block. 40% more. Block damage? What is Dominion? Take 25% less attack damage from any direction. That sounds good. Now, there are some non-combat things that I'm interested in also, though. This is four. Let me make sure this is for the mace. Yes, attacks with maces. So, a sideways power attack with a mace deplete all of my stamina, dealing 1% more damage per point of stamina depleted, and doing a critical strike. Alright. Meteor Storm. Each standing power attack with a mace hits a target, empowers subsequent standing power attacks with a mace within 20 seconds, increasing their damage and stamina cost by 15%. This effect, this effect stacks. Yes, I've heard talk that Skull Crack is a skill, excuse me, worth investing in. Attacks with maces interrupt spell casting. Do that one. Okay. I wanted where is speech? Yes, here. All right, here. I want to be able to sell any type of item to any merchant. Business relationships, yeah, I'm down to almost nothing <laughs> when it comes to uh, skills. did we have in block can move at full speed while blocking yes I'll take that okay 
Dragon Tail, after a successful timed block, bashing the attacker within five seconds deals double damage. And when his break their teeth, completing a timing streak violently disarms the last attacker. Well, both of these are good. I'll go ahead with Dragon Tail. Oh, you know what I didn't do. Well, we'll have to come back to that, but I think under lock picking, yes, I could have increased uh, my lock picking mastery. Well, when I get more points, perks, hopefully soon, I will be able to put them into lock picking. Thank you, mighty Stendar, for strengthening me. All right, Serana. Now, it's time for us to get to Darkfall Cave or Passage or whatever you choose to call it. Come on, let's go.